and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some best of one elves. We have a donation deck to try out some best of one magic. I know there's a lot of y'all that like playing best of one out there. So let's give this one a try. So we got some uh, mono green elves, you know, like, uh, or also known as elf ball to some. So like what we have here is we're just going to be accelerating with all of our mana creatures. Um, we have, let's see, 11 mana creatures. We've got Marwyn's, Druid of the Cowl, Paradise Druid, and Land War Elf. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? And uh, so that's what we're going to be trying to do just every single, every single game. Have a couple of lands, accelerate with our mana creatures, dump a whole bunch of elves in play. The... The payoffs for having lots for having all of our creatures be elves. We have a few. We have Elvish Clan Caller, that's a lord that, that gives all of our elves plus one plus one. And we have Icon of Ancestry, which we'll name Elf, to again give all of our elves plus one plus one and give us some card advantage also. So we have eight anthem effects between those. Oh, we got ten anthem effects, sorry. We got our two Vanquishers banners also, give our elves plus one plus one. Plus the banners, whenever we draw a creature, or whenever we cast a creature, we draw a card. Beast Whisper, whenever we cast a creature, we draw a card. So we have some good card advantage between the Beast Whisper, the banners, the icons. Um, and then, yeah, we have all of our Lord effects there. We also have this Vivian that can either uh, make our creatures bigger, give them trample, give us a little bit of removal. Um, so, yeah, even like when we have like really big, like a Steel Leaf Champion that's really big with all these Lord effects. We can give it trample. And then plus, in best of one, usually you don't use your sideboard. But Vivian's minus five, we can choose a creature card that we own from outside the game, which means our sideboard. So we have to play all of these neat little one-ofs that we can play in and uh, be able to grab depending on the situation. So a lot of cool little things here. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a try. So with best of one... What we're doing, we're going to play a best of one league. So uh, that's, let's see, not tradition, constructed event. Here we go. So the best of one constructed event, you play until you either win seven or lose three, whichever happens first. It costs 500 gold. Um, looks like to get your winnings back, you got to win four to get your 500 gold back. So let's see how we do. Elves. This could work pretty well. I've I've said that I'm worried about the 19 lands, but best of one uh, with the shuffler. If if y'all if you're watching us on YouTube, if you don't, know, so best of three you get seven. You know, it's like playing like normal magic. You get just seven random cards in your opening hands. With best of one, what they do since it's just one game, it actually generates two seven card hands and looks at which hand has a better land to spell ratio and it gives you that hand and it's same with your seven card hand same with your mulligan if you mulligan to to uh to six it again looks at two seven card hands and gives you the better one so you can really afford to cheat on lands in best of one and it can still work out So there you go. Yeah. So if you didn't, so <clears throat> let's get our green kitty. So yeah, when you're playing best of one, feel free to play less lands than normal. Yeah, I've seen like 16 land mono red decks. All right. So we are going to be going crazy here. So all of these cards are just free. That's free. That's free. They're they're all free because they cost one mana, but they pump up Marwyn, and Marwyn adds green mana equal to her power. So now she adds four. So like those were all free. So we have five mana. So we got this Thorn Lieutenant and Icon of Ancestry. This is what we call Elf Ball, Hawkeye. Yeah, this was like our, our perfect curve. We should have just done one best of one game. 
yeah, this is our third turn. And it's like, all right, so that's what our deck does every single game, every single time. <laughs> Let's see. I think we just play this and then just attack. Not with Marwin though. Let's see, eight, nine, 10, 11. I'm one mana short from activating Thorn Lieutenant also. Yeah, we just attack here. Oh, wait. I forgot I can't activate Clan Caller. I was planning on activating Clan Caller. Well, I guess I'm activating this thing then. All right, well, I should have. Should have attacked with Marwyn. My plan was to get another Elvish Clan Caller, but obviously Elvish Clan Caller is summoning sick and cannot tap then. So getting another Clan Caller doesn't work. Well, that's all right. Our deck's great. And there we go, best of one. We win. No sideboard. Don't get your removal in here. Yep, playing modern. Okay, this looks like a good hand. Same kind of thing. Let's get turn one land war elf. Oh no, ley line? They're gonna be faster. Maybe. Alright, good. No land war elf for them. Hmm. Okay. I want Paradise Druid in play. We need to add mana quickly. By playing the Pell Collector first to grow it with that trigger. This is not a rotation proof deck. We're, we, the other decks were rotation proof Monday. This is a donation deck to finish the stream out tonight. Hey, Plague Vendor. All right, so we have five mana. Just empty the hand. I will trade Paradise Druid, Paradise Druids if they want, because theirs adds two mana with Leyline. Plus, if mine dies, it would trigger these other Pell Collectors to turn into 3-3s. Three Alright, let's Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Just laughing at this Dantas, this is great. I know, best of one's awesome. Yeah, so like best of one, you just want to be really linear. You just want to do something crazy like your deck. You don't want to interact too much. Wow. Wow. Well, is that better than just getting Clan Caller? Kind of don't think so. And then do we attack? What's in here? There's nothing in there. Let's attack them. All right, that's what we got. What you got? Blood of Tears? Cheating. 
<laughs> Flooded Tears Omniscience? Ugh, oh, super cheating. Ugh, oh, I should have killed Tamio. Should have known that they needed Tamio for the fourth the fourth permanent in play for Flood of Tears Omniscience. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. There's nothing over here right now, but they can now minus and get Flood of Tears back. We will rebuild. <laughs> wow, that cost usually costs ten mana, they just played it for free. So yeah, like basically we're locked out of the game here at this point if our opponent plays this correctly because they should just minus, get back Flood of Tears, do it again, and then tick up Tamio. And every single turn they can just bounce my board and tick up, they get a Tamio tick up. See, like they're just ticking up Tamio. That's just a, a waste. They should just minus for Flood of Tears, put everything back into play, and then tick up Tamio because it's still ticking up Tamio. But then they just tapped out? They just let me kill them? <laughs> Best of one is so fun. Our deck's unbeatable. Can't beat the elves. Yeah, opponent played an awesome deck. <laughs> so there we go. I did not expect to win that. I thought we were dead for sure. But here we are. Um, if we draw one land, we'll be doing really good. If we don't, it'll take us a little bit, but we'll be fine-ish. Wow, we're lucky. Nope. Yeah. And here we go. Submerged Boneyard. One of my favorite lands to say the name of. Submerged Boneyard. It's fun to say. Um, yeah, our, well, my, my opponent, I don't, yeah, I don't know what their actual win condition was, maybe attacking, maybe just Jace, like, if they just had Jace, they would win. If they played that correctly, we would have never been able to do anything the rest of the game. Uh, let's see. But they didn't. People don't actually play removal in, in best of one, right? There's no way there's, like, a crowd of Granarium here. All right, GG's. <clears throat> I only played one creature that died to the Cry of the Carnarium there that, that last turn.
Well, good thing is we don't have any lands left in our deck. So we're going to be drawing a spell every single turn. There's only four lands in here. There are so many keep an open mind. Uh, my opponent... What? What is this? What is that? I thought we were out of lands. All right, I guess there's a fifth land in here. I have just the trick for this. I don't know. My my opponent just let me have lethal basically that last game. My presence alone, truth lies beyond vision. Well, with Narset in play, we don't actually get to draw multiple cards. So they had like Cry, then Ritual, then Cruelty, then Cast Down plus Narset, then Ugin. If you wish to surrender now, hone your prowess. The control deck stream. Yeah, this game's over. We cannot win anymore. Alright, we'll scoop him up. No, it's not possible to come back from what's on board. Like, maybe if they didn't have Narset. But they had Narset. Maybe if they didn't have Ugin either. If they didn't have Ugin or Narset. And didn't play any sweepers. Maybe then. I don't think they could have killed the banner. We didn't. I don't think they had any artifact removal. Ugin cannot kill banner. If you're thinking Ugin could have killed banner, <sighs> removal and best of one. Rude. Rude removal. Hmm. I'll work on that. Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. It kind of sounds like you were just lying okay, saying that. <laughs> It's more mana efficient to go Clan Call or Paradise Druid, but if we do that, then then they can minus two and shock the Clan Caller. So I could go Icon of Ancestry attack for three. And then they can't minus two. Unless, unless of course, they chump block. Yeah, I could go Lieutenant Druid. I don't hate that. Let's go Lieutenant Druid. Yeah, we had all three of the, the rotation proof decks. Played some long leagues today. They were all like controlish decks and playing long leagues, but had a lot of good magic. But yeah, we've had our couple long streams here. Get some extra magic today. Best of one's pretty short though, but it's fun. All right, well, opponent has the best card in their deck, Risen Reef. Oh, so this is going to be really hard to win now. That's a lot of basic mountains. Basically. Gotta save that point.
Need to kill Chandra. I don't have enough swears right now. No, I'm not taking any days off this week. Is when so Wednesday is whenever previews are coming out Wednesday? Cavalcade of Calamity. So this is Cavalcade Splash Risenry. Whoa. It's just like it's like mono red splash. Throw like a breeding pool in there and a risen reef. I can either play banner or play icon and activate icon. Or obviously I can just go get another clan caller, but I think I want to do icon, activate icon. <laughs> the evolution of mono red crisis. Yeah, we need our green green kitty to go with our elf deck. Yeah, best yeah, you do play against just tons of different stuff in best of one. Best of one's like the wild wild west. Um Get out of my way. I'll burn so I guess here. that's game. Room to fight in. What's up with all these sweeper decks? All these decks playing sweepers. It's basically if they have a sweeper, we lose. If they don't, we win. That's what, that's the game we're playing here. Do you have a sweeper? Yes, GG. No, GG. I'm sorry, friend. So that's six from just the cavalcade attack trigger. And then we can't block three of them. All right, we face two sweepers. We face two non-sweepers. We only get one loss left. We need five straight non-sweepers. We need five straight non-sweepers. <laughs> yeah, best one is so fast. Yep, we're playing some best of one here. No, it's it's a lot less. The the entry fee for best of one is half of the entry fee for best of three. Like it costs five hundred for these. 
It costs a thousand for best of three. Well, I'm glad we drew that land war off because I just realized this was not a good keep. Suddenly our hands a lot better. Azoria Skies. That's such a good best of one deck. Oh, this is such a good best of one deck. Really hoping no of the, I don't know, Raise the Alarm or whatever that card's called. Okay, so we can go Pelt, Steel Leaf, Steel Leaf. Rally of Wings, yeah, that card. Hmm. So if we go Vivian, kill the Supreme Vantum, we're taking, or we're dealing 17. I think that's my best play. Oh, I am going to love tearing this place to the ground. I mean, if they have Rally of Wings, obviously we die. If they have, like, you know, any pump effect, we're dead. All right, sack that thing. That's fine. Because they're still only dealing six this next turn. Like, if they have just a land in hand and they draw a land, we're okay. Which, that's what it kind of looks like. I need to hone my skills. There we go. Yeah, I mean, by, by attacking all, they left themselves dead. But, all right, no sweeper. No sweeper won the game on the draw. Marwin. Yeah, that, I mean, drawing that land war off we needed, but that was the, the perfect turn one top deck. We were dead if we didn't draw that. But you saw like how good Marwin is letting us empty our hands there. All right, Pell Collector, Druid, Steel Leaf. Yeah, we got bonus magic. We're past 10. I do think we need to go Paradise Druid so that we have the mana for Steel Leaf next turn. We could go Pelt Collector, Growth Chamber Guardian. Instead, I think it's better just to play Steel Leaf, though. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Facing a person that's playing an 80 card Field of the Dead elemental deck, and they've got two Field of the Deads in the first 10. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, that happens. No, my Steel Leaf. Hmm. Still steel leave. Or just best best attacker next turn. And we can go Pell Collector, Clan Caller. Oh yeah. That would be cool to have vicious rumors and scheming symmetry together. Of course, with Bola Citadel, certainly, because, you know, you get to Scheming Symmetry, your card on top with Bola Citadel, and then, ca you know, then cast it. Pell Collector has Trample, because it has three counters on it. So they're down to one. Yay, no Sweeper! Alright, four non-Sweepers. We faced two Sweepers, we've gotten two losses. We don't have, this is basically the same hand we had last time, but we don't have the turn one Pell Collector. So it's definitely worse, but we are on the play. That makes it better. The Growth Chamber Guardians seem pretty slow in the deck. I guess they're good against like decks with removal. I'm not sure if that's I guess they're good against decks with sweepers. I'm not sure if that's what we're trying to beat, though. Yeah, to choose your your uh, icon, go to your profile. Um, I think I think there's a tab that says profile at the top. Pretty sure that's what that tab says. Um. What's going on over here? I'm going to go one more thread out here. Because of Sweeper, I don't think I want to go Pelt Collector or Growth Chamber Guardian. Sorry I'm late. You should be Might sorry be you're, that you're late. Hmm. If we would have drawn a land, I'd go Pell Collector Icon, but keep like the two creatures out there. Oh yeah, I bet this is Kethis combo. Yeah, I bet y'all are right. I bet this is Kethis. So let's 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 get a little bit more out here then. Or maybe it's yeah, five color command the dreadhorde. I'll protect you. Maybe that's it. 
It's definitely five colors. Um, could be a uh, Niv Mizzet. This could be a Niv Mizzet deck. Yeah, with like Teferi, Teferi Oath of Kai. Yeah, this could definitely be a Niv Mizzet deck, which means like Kaya's Wrath and stuff. But Breeding Pool doesn't cast Kaya's Wrath. Uh, Search for Scanta is just a good card. You, you can play Ascanta in a Niv Mizzet deck. Ascanta just is a really good two mana card. Yeah, it could be a Golos deck. We'll never know. All right. We are five and two. Let's keep this non sweeper action going. I feel like we've had this hand before. I feel like we've had this hand before. Alright, we're playing against vampires. Vampires can definitely beat this hand, depending on what they got. Get a 2-2 two -two in play. If we draw a land next turn, I'm probably going to go Pelt, Land of War, Druid. Oh, that's a lot, of, a lot of creatures. It makes my Beast Whisperer worse. Uh, that's a free block. And just that. This is a sci-fi channel movie. Elves vs. Vampires. Um, Alright, that thing's kind of big. I could go Pelt Steel Leaf. How big is this thing? A 4-5? So Steel Leaf can trade with that. It's Pelt Steel Leaf. So even if they kill Steel Leaf, the Pelts will grow. I will block Knight of the Ebon Legion with Steel Leaf Champion. Ugh. If I had the opportunity to. I would like a land. I'd like to go Beast Whisperer, Land or Elf. No. We'll just go normal Beast Whisper or Druid Thorn. Is it Whisper or Druid Thorn? Go Whisper. Y'all yeah, like Whisper? I'm not. Druid Thorn's the safer play because if I go Druid Thorn, then the next turn I can go, I do have five mana and I can go Whisper Lanoir Elf and still just draw a card. But yeah, Whisper is well, just two draws right now, but likely between the three we get another land and then it's a third.
gonna have to get pretty fortunate here, I think. I think we're... Mm, that's not... That's not fortunate. I was gonna say, we're pretty big underdogs. Uncultured to Sanctum monsters. Seeker. Already, and now... With Soren, this is... He's but a taste of my power. So that'll trade there, and I guess we chomp here, otherwise they can activate and, like, you know, just have them activate. Otherwise we're taking just way too much damage. Uh, I guess I can't really tell which trigger is what, but hopefully they stack it correctly. Okay, good. They did. Thank you. That's a good card. That will cost you dearly. Soren's so hard to beat. I can't I couldn't kill Soren. I could attack Soren, just five loyalty. Couldn't kill Soren. Yeah, I next turn, you know, I just drew this Vivian. Next turn I can have Vivian finish off Soren. Um or maybe have Vivian like, minus kill the Sanctum Seeker and have the Pelt Collector trample over to kill Soren, depending on what they play. Our fiends thirst for life. Yeah, one plus I am. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the We couldn't play very many chambers. With my aim and their claws, you're done. Yeah, Vivian, get rid of that champion and get rid of the Soren. That's all I got. My heart is too hollow. GG. And we're just, we're dead on board. They just attack out four Sanctum Seeker triggers plus the Flying Aspirant. Gets us. But at least we got Soren off the battlefield first. Yeah, you're welcome, Kendis. All right, so about our deck, um, yeah, this deck was this deck was fun. Five, hey, nothing wrong with five three, and I like I like how this deck plays, especially for best of one, just being. All right, so basically, I think we should be even more in on our game one plan, and by that I mean, 
Honestly, the 19 lands was just fine. I, I was saying that I was worried about 19 lands. That was honestly just fine. I'd say there's one card in this deck that I really don't like, and those are the Growth Chamber Guardians. I think those those should just go. I think that this... Like, it does help you against removal-heavy decks, but I just don't think it's... Ne I don't think these are necessary. I think I would rather have... Um, like, I liked the Vivians a ton. Giving us, like, some, some removal... I'm not sure about Banner. I'm not sure about Banner, but I would... Basically, I don't want those. I want another Vivian or two, and then other mana creatures. So whether you want Druid of the Cowl, or if you want Incubation Druid, I'm fine with Incubation Druid also. Um, but I guess Druid hits a little harder. Um, you know, I just kind of want like some other two mana, like actual like mana producers. I don't, I don't really want those Growth Chamber Guardians. I'd rather have, like, a couple Druids and, like, a couple Vivians um, kind of thing. Because uh, Vivian, because the same matchups that Growth Chamber Guardian is good in, Vivian is also good in. And Vivian is better than Growth Chamber Guardian in those matchups. Um, so, yeah. So, I basically just don't... I think, like, the, the Growth Chambers are just pretty slow and not necessary. Um... Maybe, you know, and then, yeah, so maybe we need another two-mana elf instead of, like, a banner or instead of the, the third Vivian. Maybe having two Vivians is too much. You know, maybe, maybe that's too much there. Maybe we need, you know, like, a fourth Druid of the Cowl and only go two Vivian or take out a banner. <clears throat> I can see either of those. The banners looked pretty expensive from what we saw there. The banners looked pretty expensive. Um... I'm not sure if this is like the best of the, the sideboard stuff, the sideboard creatures. Ripjaw Raptor is certainly a creature that that I would have in the sideboard for mono red. Um, like Rip, yeah. So like Ripjaw Raptor would be a creature to have. Um, we're not giving plus one plus one counters to anything for this evolution sage. I d I think growing rights of Itlamok is probably too slow for best of one. Rex age Rex age needs to be in there. That needs to be in there. Like, I'm fine having a Brontodon also, but I think you should have a Rex Age. So, like, a Rex Age, a Brontodon. Um, I would play I would play one of the... So, let's see. Where's where's my Rex Age? So, a Rex Age... No, you go over here. You're an elf, too. Like, the Rex Age has to be in there. Ugh. Go back to one mana. I already missed this card. Where is this thing at? Where is this one mana gain three life card? You. Sometimes you need just one mana gain three life. You know, like you don't have enough mana. Oh, definitely get that thing in there. Healer of the Glade, that's that's useful. Alright, Ripjaw. Probably Null Hide. Ambusher is not bad. Definitely Vine Mare. Absolutely Vine Mare. All right, I'll see. I'll see what we're cutting here in a little bit. Ronus, yes, definitely Ronus. Foragers can gain a whole lot of life. Useful. Tender Shoot Dryad's not bad. That's a maybe. We'll see. Already got Carney T. Okay. All right, so as far as what to cut from the sideboard, if we add in all these things, so we don't need a second. You don't need a second Palaka Worm, especially if you have Kyle Foragers. That's pretty good there. Um, 
I can kind of understand having a lot of that top end. I don't like I can understand some of the stuff. So Loaming Shaman, Death Gorge Scavenger, they're really Don't need Death Gorge Scavenger. Um all right, maybe not Null Hide. Don't you don't need Cavalier Thorns. Biogenic Ooze is Which one's worse? Ooze or Tender Shoot? I guess Tender Shoot. Yeah, Tender Shoot's worse. Alright, so that's gone. Alright, so this is 18. I just, I guess people play Kethis combo in here. I guess people play Kethis combo in best of one. It seems like a really slow best of one deck though. It's for long games where you draw your deck. And then you want to Loman Chalming back your whole deck. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we need to get rid of some of these, like, fours and fives. Hmm. I kind of like all of them, though. I guess maybe not Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, honestly, probably not Carnage Tyrant. Hatchery Spider, that is a good one. Oh, you you need you use uh, Cavalier Thorns for Reach. Aren't the the flying decks probably already kill you by then, right? Like you like you have Voracious Hydra. You have Voracious Hydra and Harpooner already. I kind of don't like Brontodon at all. Honestly, Rexage is better than Brontodon. Yeah, I don't like Brontodon at all. Because if you're minusing your Vivian to grab Brontodon and then you just sack your Brontodon to destroy something, you'd rather just Rexage it. If you're just getting it for a blocker, you get a, there's a lot better cards to get for blockers. I could see not playing Raiders. Raiders is, is of course an elf, though. No, Raiders is good. It's good to have a Raiders. I don't know. It's so late in the night. Um, okay, against like Drakes. All right, well. All right, we can get our Cavalier back in. Um, maybe you don't need Healer of the Glade? kind of feel like, like you could be like behind, like you just played Vivian and ticked up, but you just barely survived, and you have your other Elves you want to play, but you can minus and go grab this thing that gains you three life. That you can cast roll easily. But maybe you don't need that with foragers and yeah, maybe you don't need that. Um, then this is sixteen. It's probably vine mare to be honest. Or maybe it's Ronus. I don't know. I guess just whichever one you don't like, <laughs> Gendis. But I like these 16. We can only play 15, though. I would say, like, Golgari Raiders, 
Fine Mare, Biogenic Ooze. Honestly, a lot of times the the like if you have like the mana for Ooze and to activate Ooze, we probably can do something better. Maybe not. Yeah, Galt is like for like your red deck. You can just play like a huge blocker that they can't deal with. But I guess by the time you already have all your power or just other green decks. Really like Ripjaw. Eh. But I guess we're already minusing our, our Vivian, so we've already kind of stabilized. At, like in those games. I don't know. One of these go. Guess if you're watching this later, you can determine which one you want to drop. Um, I could definitely see getting rid of End Race Forerunners, honestly. Because you have to, like, tap, like, your creatures to be able to play it. I could definitely see getting rid of Forerunners, because... With having Ronus as a, a lot cheaper option. Or Golgari Raiders. Yeah, honestly... I'm perfectly fine getting rid of Forerunners. Of course, Forerunners does give you Trample. I don't know. There's there's probably some crazy game where Forerunners is great. I don't know. That's 16. Got to cut something. I would cut Ripjaw because it's a rare that rotates out. There you go. All right. Anyway, that's uh, Mono Green Elves and Best of One. It was pretty sweet. Uh, this we may need to get rid of one of these top end cards for an extra like Druid of the Cowl. Maybe. Or an extra Marwin. Marwin was awesome for us. I wouldn't mind having a third Marwin. But, uh, yeah, so we've got some best of one magic. So if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to the like, subscribe buttons over there. Let me know what you think of seeing some best of one magic. If you liked it, all that kind of stuff. Um, but thanks for watching. Mono Green Elves. And I'll see you for the next video.